guys, Larissa with Bicosi.net is here. Today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful multicolored blanket. We received new yarn in our store. It's mixed colors, uh, chunky Chanel or variegated colors. And uh, though these colors uh, make it possible to make this beautiful uh, blanket because I'm using uh, salt and pepper. Uh, as we call it and uh, let me show you all the colors that we have for variegated colors so guys let me show you our new mixed color chanel so the first one uh, and i will show you how they look like when they are already knitted uh, it's like a small piece that i needed as a sample so this beautiful one is a uh, strawberry and cream so this is the one this is number one uh, next one uh, will be rainbow and you can see why we're calling it rainbow because it's like uh, so many different really bright colors uh, this uh, beautiful one is will be uh, blue raspberry really pretty color and this one will be a raspberry uh, sherbet so another really beautiful color and uh two a little bit darker but very popular colors this one is s'mores uh look at this beauty it's uh for me it looks exactly like s'mores that's the reason we call it this way really pretty uh some people call it camouflage too and the last but not the least will be salt and pepper i love this because i love combination of white and black and this one uh, also has gray so really beautiful salt and pepper color so these are our six colors of mixed uh, chanel you can buy them at becoisy.net so now when you see all the colors that we have for variegated colors uh, we will use one of them as I mentioned salt and pepper uh, we will also use black and ivory color so we will need two black we'll need two salt and pepper uh, I'm sorry three salt and pepper and two ivory so two black three salt and pepper and two ivory and the size of the blanket is 40 by 60 it's our most popular color I mean uh, size and this is the length of the blanket uh, as you can see it's a pretty big blanket it's enough to cover a medium-sized person uh, sitting on the couch watching TV and as I said it's one of our most popular sizes so if you're ready uh, let's get started okay guys so we will start with the black color so place the yarn in front of you like that this is the tail this is walking yarn make a loop by placing the walking yarn on the top of the tail like that now insert your hand inside this loop grab walking yarn and pull it out this is your first stitch and you can make it smaller or bigger by pulling walking yarn up and down we will keep it about two inches and as i mentioned in previous videos for chunky chanel yarn knitting make a knot on the end this will prevent unraveling because some chanel uh, some some chunky chanel yarn has a little bit more unraveling uh, qualities than the others so when you make a knot cut the tail close to the knot like that and you have a, a tail that was secured with the knot so now you have uh, your first stitch insert your hand grab walking yarn and pull it out so now you have two stitches now do the same and we will be making a blanket 40 by 60 so we'll need 22 stitches so we have two insert your hand grab walking yarn and pull it out three four five and you can do it with your left hand or you can do it with your right hand like that you're holding this uh, chain like that insert your two fingers and pull it through grab walking yarn pull it out this one 
is even easier like that this way you're kind of like using your fingers as a crochet hook if you have ever crocheted it before to count stitches count these holes on the bottom one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two so made a little bit more than we needed okay so it will be twenty two stitches if you're knitting too tight i would suggest you to make twenty three so now when you have a chain turn this chain uh, on the other side like that and use this knots in the middle it's kind of hard to see because it's black color but uh, you will see this knots anyway because they're in the middle of every stitch so you're keeping this first stitch out because you already uh, made it and now you're lifting this knot inserting your fingers grabbing working yarn and pull it out this is your first stitch now do the same with this next one see this is the chain this is the stitch and the knot is in the middle you're lifting it grabbing working yarn on the knees and pull it out again this is the uh, stitch the knot is in the middle insert your two fingers on the knees grab working yarn and pull it out Now your first row is ready and we will move to the second row. For the second row you will need to do the same technique. You insert in your hand inside the stitch, grab in working yarn and pull it out. Keep doing the same way to all stitches and try to keep stitches small they will be uh, in this row they will be about one inch big and i would suggest to keep all stitches about one inch wide because this way you will have a tighter knitted blanket and it will look more beautiful and it will not be stretching when you will be using it So starting this row we will be skipping knitting the first stitch the reason we're skipping it because we want a beautiful chain on the bottom and this is the only way to have it this way so this is your stitch you just leave it there and don't knit it start with the second one the same way insert your hands or fingers grab walking yarn and pull it out keep doing the same way in this row guys until you need all 22 stitches then start next row and keep knitting the same way until you are done with all of your black color okay, so we made six rows of the black color and i started seven row and it's not enough to finish it so i will go back because uh, you should start a new color only uh, with a new row so what we will do we will cut this piece of black that we have left and now we will connect our salt and pepper to connect is very easy as just making a knot and then one more to secure it and then try to pull it different directions couple times until it's really tight and then cut the tails like that here is your connection you don't need to do anything else just a very simple knot and then cut it close to the knot that you wouldn't have this unraveling parts like that so now we will continue knitting the same way inserting your hand 
grabbing woogie yarn pulling it out the only difference will be that we will be using our salt and pepper mix color chanel done with ivory color one skein and we are almost lucky we have a little bit left uh, almost le uh, enough for uh, the last stitch and now we're attaching salt and pepper again so again simple very simple knot and another one and then secure it pull different directions couple times and then cut the tail this is your connection and now we will need the last stitch of this row and then we will start with the second stitch and we will keep knitting the next our second skein of salt and pepper are uh, ready with our blanket let me show you one more time so we started with black one skein of black then one skein of salt and pepper one skein of ivory then we added uh, one skein of salt and pepper again and then one skein of ivory and one more salt and pepper and black and now we are ready to cast off or finish our blanket and let me show how we will do it so this is our last row this is the yarn left to finish and in order to finish we will be taking two stitches together like that and then grabbing working yarn and pulling through two stitches and then you have one stitch left add another one grab working yarn and pull it through two stitches you have one left now add another stitch to this one grab working yarn and pull it through this is casting off you're basically knitting two stitches together and the last row and this way you will have a nice beautiful chain on the top of the blanket now two last stitches you're knitting together and then take the tail you see that i have a knot on the end and pull it through the last stitch and this is the end of the blanket now we've in the end i'm usually using this chain and go underneath the chain to put this yarn and then just move it in or hide it on the end behind any of the stitches uh shanky chanel yarn is very fluffy you will not see it like that so this is our blanket guys it's all ready so this is our beautiful blanket and you can find uh, the chunky chanel and all these colors at becosy.net and stay warm and becosy